in front of a standing room only crowd. This joint is a buzz with activity. It's game four of the National League Championship Series between the Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles. One Matt Vaskersian, welcome. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. And you can see the results right there. It's been about what we'd expected up to this point. Very tightly played, very tightly contested series so far. It sits at two games to one right now. But I've got a feeling it's going to take at least six games, maybe even all seven games to decide a winner in this one. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2016 Los Angeles Dodgers. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, E.K.? Well, Matty, the guy I'm here to see is Big Chris Bryant. I think he does a great job of taking what's given to him. Never tries to do too much. Knows how to extend in that bat and get the pitch he's looking for. Alex Wood will be on the mound for game four. E.K., what do you got? Remember, guys, this is someone that will come at you with four different pitches. He'll change velocity, he'll go up and down, the break on the pitches makes it a real challenge for a hitter. And with a quick breather here, let's look at how the Dodgers align on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, Corey Seager may not have your prototypical shortstop body, but he's proved he can handle the position. Standing at six foot four, a lot of people have felt like he might be too big, but he's proven everybody wrong and he's done a great job. Of this Dexter Fowler will take his cuts now, and he is one guy whose bat has not made the transition from regular season to postseason. Yeah, and he was so good during the regular year, but he's been a non-factor so far in this postseason. Now the first pitch of the night is looked at for ball one as we get underway right at 7.05 on the nose. First pitch, 7.05. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 now. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Three and oh now. Hi. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. Yeah, just to get me over fastball, anything to avoid a four pitch walk to start the game. And that misses ball four. So not the start he was looking for tonight as he walks the leadoff hitter on five pitches. In the second spot tonight, third baseman. Chris, Chris Bryant, Bryant gets his first shot here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And you know, guys, we talk about it all the time. Leadoff walks are so dangerous, and we'll see if they can take advantage of this one. Wood sets. Here's the first pitch. 
Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Yep, Earl is a well-liked umpire all around baseball by both pitchers and hitters. The reason for that, he's consistent, and his zone is kind of what you hope for. And a strike to even the count, one and one. Now a throw over, and they got him. Well, so much for getting on base to start the ball game. I think he had designs on taking second here. You see him get caught leaning the wrong way, and it winds up costing him. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. fouled over towards the coaching box. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked at full now at three and two. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. It swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he will get there with the first hit of the ball game, a one-out double. Batting third. I want to take first another look at this because goal. this was close Anthony down that right field Rizzo. line. Is it a fair ball? Yeah, not by a whole lot, but they got the call right, and he'll get into second here with a double. Anthony Rizzo. We'll get his shot now. Great power numbers during the regular season. Still searching for that first home run in the postseason, however. Now these guys really need him to start producing because it seems like pitchers have the upper hand in the postseason. You're always facing the other team's best. And they've pretty well neutralized him all October long. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Yeah, and that's a good job here to get off the mound quickly, pounce on it, and then make a good, strong throw. Kyle, Kyle Schwarber will stand in now for the first time, coming off, well, nothing short of a dynamic performance last time out. Well, it makes you wonder how they're going to attack him here in this game. I would bet that they're a lot more cautious with him. He's ready. Here's the first offering. We'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and oh. And this is maybe not a pitch-around situation, but you need to be real careful with a guy like this in two away. The 1-0 and oh delivery. And this one is past him, and that could be a run. And it is a run. Well, that's just a gift right there with two outs. I mean... You're just about out of this inning, and then this happens? You talk about giving away a run? That's a prime example right there. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. Two out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. 
two and two count. Here it comes. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Cubs one. The Dodgers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers line up in this one. Eric, who stands out to you? Well, you know, you better not sleep on that guy hitting seven. And he always seems to come through in the clutch. Doesn't let the pressure of a big situation get to him, whether it's the first inning with nobody out or the ninth inning with two outs. His approach doesn't change, and that's a big reason why he delivers so often. Kyle Hendricks is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. E.K., what's the word on him? Yeah, Matty, in his last outing, he didn't finish what he started, but he did throw a strong eight innings, got his ball club to win. And with that, let's take a look at the Cubs' alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, this defense is really anchored up the middle, and most specifically, the guy over at second base. He turns the double play as well as anybody in the game, has a lot of range, and really takes away a lot of hits from the other team. Howie Kendrick will get his first opportunity here in game four, and you'd have to say he's been a non-factor here these first three games. And if they're going to have any chance of moving on, he's going to have to step up his game. They need him to help anchor this attack, and he's been absent so far. They'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and Lifted in the air out towards left center. Schwarber giving chase, but he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. Yeah, good chance to get that early run right back. This is a great swing right here. He drives this one all the way out to the wall, and he's into second with a leadoff double. Here's Carl Crawford now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Obviously, you want a base hit here and hopefully tie this game. But a ground ball to the right side, that wouldn't be so bad either. One-oh count. Here it is. Ground ball right side. Rizzo is there. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance. Fundamental baseball. Adrian. He's got the leadoff God man at second. Man. So he's just shooting for the right side of the infield. And he's able to move him up 90 feet to third with just one away. Adrian Gonzalez will get a shot here. And he's looking to get off to Schneid. Hitless in the series so far. And he's an important guy to get going. If they're going to have any chance in this series, he really needs to start getting a little more involved. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. And, and you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Oh, that one got the pitcher. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Well, you know all the infielders are taught to try and knock the ball down in that RBI situation. But here on the mound, I don't think he had any choice. This one comes back at him and gets him flush. By the time they all scramble around to find the ball, they have no chance of preventing that run from scoring. Here's Corey Seager. This 
she'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One, one. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Schwarber racing back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. Nearly a great play out left. You'll see him jump for this ball and not quite be able to pull it in. That's going to get over his head and wind up a double. Standing in now, Justin Turner. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. And in the first inning, with this guy already looking a little shaky, I think you let him throw you one here. He hasn't proven to me that he can find the strike zone yet. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And they're going to grab the lead here as this is down for extra bases. The run scores from second. It's now a two to one ball game. Adding six. Right Boy, that's now three extra base hits he's popped up here in the first inning. And a lot of times that doesn't bode all that well for him sticking around late into a ball game. So he's going to need to turn things around right now. And he might be looking at a real short outing. At the plate is Andre Ethier. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Oh, now there's a location you want right there. If that ball gets hit, you're just going to bang it into the ground all night long. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. Maybe some big game jitters here in this opening inning. Well, I don't think anyone's immune to that. I don't care what the name on the back of your jersey is. This is not an ordinary game. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Tap fouled at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2-2. This is hit high and deep out to left. Schwarber going back on it. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's now 3-1. All right, that's already the fourth hit he's given up in this first inning. And this one's a double. And you start to get the sense that if he doesn't turn it around very soon, he's not going to be out there much longer. Kike Hernandez will stand in, and you see the numbers for the series so far. He's really been one of their unsung heroes. It seems like in just about every series, you get that one guy who really steps up, and he's been that guy so far. Here comes the first pitch. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. And this one's in the dirt. Throw goes to third. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on four base hits. No errors and no one left. On to the second now at Dodger Stadium. L.A.'s on top. 
three to one. Ben Zobrist will stand in, and this pitching staff has kept his bat silent throughout the series so far. Yeah, just two hits for him so far, but you got to figure he's due. I don't think they're going to hold him down all series long. Wood has his target. First pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Crawford comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Batting six, the right fielder, number eight, Shane Victorino. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And here's the versatile outfielder, Shane Victorino. Knuckle no curve breaks out. outside for ball one. That evens it up one and one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. And with the time. Run in the on deck circle. The question does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on three and two, even if this one's a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Hernandez is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting seven. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the American League Championship Series as they've got a good matchup going on over there as well. Addison Russell into the box here in the top of the second looking to keep this inning going. Lays off 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Very patient here in these opening few innings. And I think that's exactly what they're going to need to do. The more hitters counts that you can get yourself in, the more fastballs you're going to see. And this is a good fastball hitting team. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. That one's more like it, he says. Back to 2-1 now. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Uh, good at bat so far here with two away. He's going to go down in order. At least make that guy work for it. Got himself back into a fastball count now. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Yeah, and this has been the big concern with this guy over the last couple seasons. He's prone to getting hurt by the base on balls. Already that's two walks here in the early going. And that's something that he's going to need to get a handle on pretty quick. Into the box now, Kyle Hendricks. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here it comes. First pitch hack in oh here, my. and that's the first strike. And a sinker dips oh too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Oh 
sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. All the way here to start the at bat. And that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy, get him to roll over something. You don't have to strike him out. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. You get a good look right there. Already 33 pitches now through an inning and two thirds. That's an awfully high number this early. A runner on first with two away. Sent on the ground out to second. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Cubs. They still trail it here three to one. Kike Hernandez strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. A lot of people think that pitch will burn straight down, but it will work back a little bit towards righties, like that one did right there. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. And, oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. You know, and I think most hitters will tell you, if you get a bad call on strike one or strike two, you know, they can live with that. But if you're going to punch me out on strike three, it better be a strike. If not, I feel like you're taking the bat out of my hands. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And a pitch in the dirt one one. as he lays off. It's one and one. Ah, and that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Chopped in front of home plate. Montero scoops it up in time to first, and there are two away. Batting ninth. Yeah, and you know, that's a nice Catcher. play back there behind Alex. the plate. For a big guy, look how quickly he springs to his feet, gets rid of that mask, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. Into the box now, Alex Wood. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. Smoked on the ground, left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Yeah, I think this has got to be an infield single. You see the reaching attempt there at short. Even if he fields this ball cleanly, there's no guarantee they were going to get him at first. And this is indeed going to be a base hit. Here's Howie Kendrick. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. That's not really a bad take that time. You've got a guy out there on the mound that's had his hands full already. So you've got to make him prove that he can find the zone. Pulls this one in the air out to left. 
Schwarber waits on it, and that's the third out. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Game four rolls along. We're back after this. Miguel Montero will dig in here, and it's been a series to forget for him go. so far as you see the numbers there. Miguel and with these Montero. guys just one game away from going home, he may not have too many more opportunities to turn things around. He's got to make every at-bat count from here on out. Wood gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. That's the hardest hit ball he's had all series. And he's still looking for that. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here. 0-1. Third inning here, three to one our score. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. Grounded up the first baseline. Gonzalez is up with it, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Now batting, third baseman, Chris Bryant. Striding into the box, Chris Bryant. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Boy, he had a great at-bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. Into the windup and the pitch. Knuckle curve down below the knees, 1 and 0. Two out, nobody on. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a shot to third, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Score holds, it's three to one. Carl Crawford will come forward to lead things off Leading here for the, the Dodgers, Dodgers with Adrian Gonzalez due to hit next. First delivery to him on the way. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and Grounded back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. You talk about a guy who's really stepped it up all throughout this postseason. Here's your man right here. And he's on base again as he leads off the inning with a base hit. Adrian Gonzalez stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. 
Well, I think it was a sinker that he rolled over last time up, and he's probably going to see that same pitch again. you got to wait for a mistake up in the zone against a guy like this. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's first pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Change up nope. low, 2-0. Oh. And, oh. and on 2-0, oh, this is where nice. he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. Rounded to the right. Zobrist with a dive. It's in time. No way. That was awesome. Well, that's the big leagues right there. The worst part of this is, as a hitter, since it's to the right side, you get to watch this whole play unfolding right in front of you. And believe me, it's not a whole lot of fun. That's a super play, and you're out. Here's Corey Seager. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. One and oh. one and oh. One out and a runner on second base. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Another 2-0 count here to begin an at-bat. Once or twice is a pattern. More than that is a trend, and he's just not going to have much success if he keeps falling behind. The 2-0 and pitch. Right side. Zobrist is there. Throw gets him. Two down. These days in this game, we talk so much about situational hitting. Hit behind the runners. Move guys up. But with one out, you got to try to drive that guy in. That was a really unproductive out, even though the guy moves to third. Justin Turner stands in after hitting an RBI double his first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit up in the zone, and he didn't miss it. He'll be looking for it again right here. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Already 40 pitches now here in the first few innings. Yeah, and at this point in the game, he's going to have to start pitching to contact a little bit more, or else he may not make it five innings. A 1 0 delivery. A little bouncer, but it gets fouled. No, that's a foul ball! Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Yeah, and on two and one right now, you got to figure this guy's wound up for the fastball here. Maybe you come with the breaking ball here out of the zone and hope he goes after it. He's set, and the two-one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that's through, a base hit. And the score is the runner from third, and it's a four-to-one game. Well, nothing will put a smile on your manager's face quite like a two-out RBI. Well, things weren't looking good. He looked like he was going to get stranded out there, but he comes through to drive him home. Andre Ethier steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And that's a nice job right there to drive in the run by the last guy, and it can definitely fire up a team when someone comes through big time with two outs. First offering on its way. Hit sharply toward the right side. In there, a base hit. Throw will go to Russell, covering at second, and the inning is over. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. We're through three full here in game number four. Dodgers lead this one four to one. Leading off the inning, Anthony Rizzo as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Hit well on the ground to first. 
And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Well, I think he got away with one right there. I mean, this is a fastball right down the middle. And he just smokes this ball, too. But unfortunately, he hits it right at someone. So it becomes a fairly easy out. Kyle Schwarber in now. He went down looking in his first trip to the play. Well, you know, it never feels good to go down on strikes, especially looking. It wouldn't be surprised to see him be a little more aggressive in this at-bat. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And that's right where you want to be throwing those sinkers. But he's doing a good job at the plate of not chasing. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He'll take the turn and head for second. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. We'll get a good look at this from up in our press box camp. You can see the two outfielders give chase, but this is almost perfectly between them as it finds a gap for a double. Here's Ben Zobris now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One and no pitch on the way. Rip down the first baseline. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. The throw home, and they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. The right fielder, number eight, Shane Victorino, steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. And that's in there for strike one. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. Hit hard up the middle. Backhanded. He'll go to the bag for one. Over to Gonzalez. And they get the double play they needed to get him out of the inning. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Chicago. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Dodgers four and the Cubs two. Kike Hernandez is set to lead us Leading off in the, the home inning. half of the fourth inning. Center fielder, Kike Hernandez. First pitch coming, here it is. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Fowler has a play. Makes the play one away. Now, this has just been a I rough day for this guy nine. so far in this one. Yes, Everything they're money. hitting is hard, Grandal. even if it's right at someone. Stepping in, Yosmani Grandal. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The cutter wow. runs outside. Ball one. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. We're in the fourth inning of a 4-2 ball game. Got him to swing one, one. at a pitch below the knees. One and one.
Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. To two balls ball. and two strikes now. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Set to deal on two and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting, the pitcher, Alex Wood. Alex Wood stands in. And he that takes missed. ball That's one. One oh. Four runs, seven hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Can't connect there on the one, breaking one. ball. One and one. Keeping one it down two. here as it's to one and two. Well, give him some credit. With two outs, a lot of pitchers will just leave that bat on their shoulder, but he's at least taking some hacks and making the pitcher work. Here's a ball popped straight up, but playable for Montero behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. But they still lead this one four to two. Addison Russell heads for the box to start off the Leading fifth in this goes. one. And right here Short is an important time for Addison them to climb back into this Russell. one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Into the seats, 0-1. Oh Woods ready, 0-1 oh on its way. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Hard liner towards short, but this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean, hammered out there. But he's going to wind up with nothing to show for it. Stepping in now, Kyle Hendricks. As he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four seam it every once in a while. And when he does, you can forget it. Chop foul right at home plate. And he looks at a sinker for a cold third strike, and now there are two gone. Well, there's no question that the sinker away has always been this guy's bread and butter pitch. You can see where it is on show track, and you're just not going to get a better location than that pitch with two strikes. Here's the catcher now, Miguel Montero. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. And that's where, if I'm pitching, I just pour a fastball in there. You got to figure he'd be taking to give his pitcher a second or two to get himself together over in the dugout. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. And, oh. and with two away here, this is not the time to lose the strike zone. 
especially not to a number nine hitter. The last thing you want to do is turn this lineup over and give these guys a shot to make something out of this inning after all. 2-0 pitch on the way. Knuckle curve and a beauty 2-1 and one now. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Dexter Fowler would be next. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul for the second strike. Just finding a way to stay alive up there. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. The batter number 24, center fielder Dexter, Dexter Fowler. Fowler will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Yeah, nothing going on earlier in this inning, but a chance to make some noise right here. Those kind of walks often seem to come back and bite guys somehow. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Oh, and one count and the pitch. A shot down the first baseline. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Cubs strand one. Still down by a count of four to two. Howie Kendrick comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started. Set the table for a little bit of a rally. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. You know, when you throw a first pitch strike less than 50% of the time, you're going to find yourself in trouble more times than not. And that's where he sits right now. And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. Hit to third. Bryant is up with it. Throw on to first in time, one away. The left fielder, number three, Carl. Crawford. Carl Crawford will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Very weakly on the ground. Foul ball, however, strike one for the Dodgers thus far. Off the plate, no, one ball, ball, one strike. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Slapped hard the opposite way, but a quick love at third, and there are two gone. Yeah, and that might give you an idea of how his stuff is starting to straighten out just a little bit here now. It's the third time through the lineup. And guys weren't getting a ton of solid contact earlier, but as his pitch count rises, they're starting to zero in on him now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and now the left-handed hitting Adrian Gonzalez will get a shot. He'll start him oh. with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0.
taken high and deep to right. Victorino ranging back at the track. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Dodgers down in order as they can't add to their 4-2 to two lead. Leading off the inning, Chris Bryant. And they'll need him to get something going here. Bryant. Wood into the windup. First pitch on its way. First pitch of the no, inning is taken ball. downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Oh. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. That's oh, wide, 2-0. Down low, and the oh, plot thickens down. here. Three and O. Oh. Uh, and all of a sudden, he's looking a little jittery out there to start the sixth. Ah. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. And the count will be full. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw is there to record the first out. First baseman number 44. You get a look there at his Anthony pitch breakdown so far. Well, that sinker of his is a great weapon to have, and he picked the right spot to use it there. So one gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. First pitch of the at-bat. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Well, anytime you throw a first pitch strike to less than 50% of the hitters you're facing, you're looking for trouble, but not so in this game. We're in the middle innings here, and he's still pitching well. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Rizzo will head for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Up next for the Cubs, left fielder Kyle Schwarber. So a pivotal moment here in digging in now. Kyle Schwarber, but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Yeah, you know, sometimes guys get caught up in thinking about being the big hero. The key here, though, is just keep it simple. See the ball, hit the ball. Usually the best results come with that mindset. In there, strike one. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Runner at second here with one man out. Thought about it, but he holds up on the knuckle curve one and two. Third double of the game for these guys as you see the comparison there. The one and two pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. The second baseman, number 18, Ben Zobrist. Ben Zobrist. 
will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. From the stretch. Hit on the ground is short. Seager comes up with it. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. One left for the Cubs. They trail it here four to two. Corey Seager will start things out for the Dodgers in their half of inning number six. Corey Seager. First pitch on its way. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Got to say, they've done a pretty nice job laying off that tough changeup. And I think you have to give some credit to that hitting coach. He's tried to tell him that pitch is not going to be a strike. You've got to wait and make him bring something up in the zone. Hit hard to short. Gloved by Russell. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. And after a hot start, the bats have pretty much gone missing here in the middle inning. He sort of reinvented himself out there and has really turned things around. Justin Turner steps in after hitting an RBI single his last time around. Here's the first pitch to him. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. Well, chalk another one up for that pitcher. He's used to breaking bats, and he'll give you a little stare down after doing something like that every once in a while. Here's the one and two delivery. Fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get him out. And he could only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Well, apparently, he just got his gas tank refilled during the last half inning because, I'll tell you, he's come out looking as sharp as he has the whole ballgame. Andre Ethier steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Now, here's the pitch. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and And he misses low with it, 2-0. and -oh. 2-0 and -oh count, here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. Played on the backhand. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. But they still lead this one four to two.
back here at Dodger Stadium. Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. Leading off the inning, Shane Victorino, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Pitch home to Victorino. Line drive to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. Victorino's flying all right, headed for third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Shortstop. Addison. Down by two. Russell. You don't want to take too many chances on the bases, but that's good hustle there to get all the way into third base on the triple. Now that'll bring the tying run to the plate. Here's Addison Russell. And yeah. she'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. This guy has kind of walked a tightrope all game long. He's only thrown first pitch strikes to 50% of the hitters he's faced, and yet pitching a very good ball game. There's the knuckle no, curve out. laid off one and one. This is line to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Making a bid here to get on base is the potential tying run. But this ball just didn't want to drop for him and winds up finding the outfielder's glove. Tommy LaStella will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Tommy LaStella. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. Seems like they're working very cautiously here. Is this a little too cautious? Yeah, I mean, why are they giving this guy so much credit up there? He's someone that you got to come right after. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. And that whole lap bat, I felt like he didn't really want to challenge this guy. And I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order that you really have to go after. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Yimmy Garcia will come on and pitch here with one gone in the top of the seventh. Number 63, Yimmy Garcia. Miguel Montero will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Pulled a strike on the outer half, 0-1. Oh so often, playoff baseball comes down to the bullpen. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Yeah, no way for him to be able to get out of the way of that one. And seeing as though he's the go-ahead run, probably wouldn't have tried too hard anyway. Here's Dexter Fowler now. 
as he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And that'll just sneak past the glove, and it should be a base hit. But not in time, and just like that, this ball game is tied. Now you could see him just basically jumping at that first pitch. He pulls it into right field for a solid base hit. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Bryant. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. <laughs> and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him trying to get a punch out. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. Still now on 1-2, and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. That's a huge strikeout right here. Guy in scoring position. He's not out of this inning yet, but that's going to go a long ways towards getting him there. Look at how he's fired up about it. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. Turned on down the line. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. Bottom of the seventh inning upcoming in L.A. Get up and stretch, and we are tied 4-4. Gene Machi will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Gene Machi. Kike Hernandez will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. And now the Cubs bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Yeah, and I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. Here it comes on one and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. One and two, here it comes. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Ripped on the ground to first. Rizzo is there, and he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. The catcher, number nine, 
Yasmani Grandal. Yasmani Grandal will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. Just a little off on his earlier swings, guys. He's got to keep that top hand palm up through contact to keep him rolling over. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Just missing here, 2-0. Oh. Two and oh, here it is. Too high. Three and and oh. it's three and oh. And that questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on two and oh. Now it's three and oh, and the tide is not working in his favor. Checked his go? swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. So it's ball four. Well, let's see it again in show motion. Uh, I don't know. That's awfully close. And he might have got away with one there. Chase Utley will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 26, Chase Utley. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. A strike, and it's 2-1. He's had a high strike zone all night, so even if you're on the bench, you got to be aware of that. On the ground, up the middle. Ah, flip of his glove for one. Back to Rizzo, and they get out of it here. A double play to retire the side. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more of Game 4 on the show after this. Pedro Baez will be summoned from the bullpen now. So he'll take over to start inning number 8. Pedro Baez. Kyle Schwarber. We'll stand in, and it's a bullpen game now. Both starters out as we begin inning number eight. Yeah, both starters are out, and since we're tied, both starters not going to be involved in the decision. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. A high strike there, and it's one and one. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. And this pitch runs in and hits him, but not before he swings through it. Not sure what he was thinking about that time, but it's one and two now. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. The second baseman, number 18. With that base hit, he presents the go-ahead run down there at first base. And boy, he is fired up. Look at that emotion.
Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Here's Ben Zobrist now. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. You don't want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. 2-1. Throw over to first. Hey, and the runner there. will get back standing. Keeping him close. Go ahead. Runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Sent fouled again. And after being way ahead, now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And this is lined right back up the middle. And another base hit as this is through into center. And they're in business now to start the eighth. Boy, I'll tell you, these are the scary ones for a pitcher. This is going to give you a pretty good angle right here because this ball is hit so hard. And it's just about right at him. I mean, there's no time to do anything out there. He's pretty lucky that one didn't get him because he would have taken his head off. Javier Baez will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Here's Shane Victorino now. Fun attempt, and it looks like a good one. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. A perfect job there of getting it down. So now that's the go-ahead run right there over at third with just one out. Addison Russell digs in now after lining out in his last try. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make one fall here. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Your job, right? It could easily be a sack ball. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And he falls behind 0-2. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Oh, all you needed there was a fly ball to get that go-ahead run home. Now, now with two away, it's no sense that they'll be able to take this lead. Jorge Soler will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 68, Jorge Soler. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Boy, and if these guys come away with nothing here, we'll have squandered a real good opportunity. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Now with two strikes, boy, if he could come up with back-to-back -back punch outs, wouldn't that be something? We're in the eighth inning now of a four to four ball game. He got him and exhale as he's out of the jam and the inning is over. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Game four rolls along. We're back after this.
Jason Hayward will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Now playing left field, number 20. Javier Baez will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Number nine, Javier Baez. Hector Rondon is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Rondon. Howie Kendrick leads it off for the boys in blue here in the eighth at Dodger Stadium. Howie Kendrick. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And and he's just working east and west here. He'll be fine if he just stays out of the middle. Rondon looks in. Here's the 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. And that misses 2-2. Two and two. He showed him that slider two two. running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. One thing that man right there will not tolerate leadoff walks. Especially right out of the bullpen. This might be a quick outing if that happens. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Yeah, that one hurts. He might be in just to face this one guy, so to come right in and put him on base, that doesn't help the cause at all. Carl Crawford comes to the plate here, and we'll see how they play it with that leadoff man on base. Yeah, and in this situation, you've got to move that runner to second any way you can. So we're going to see how they decide to play it right here. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And after a walk, I think there's a little anger behind that fastball. Go ahead, runs the board here at first with nobody out. And 0-2 now as Crawford comes up empty on that one. Yeah, a couple of mid-90s fastballs, and he hasn't been close on either one of them. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air, down the line and left. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. Now that Tie ball game, 4-4 four, four the scores. We give you a look there at the starter comparison to see how the numbers match up for the two starting pitchers. So a runner at first now with one away. And stepping in now, the slugging first baseman, Adrian Gonzalez. He's ready now. The pitch sends that one out of play for strike one. And he misses with it one and one. One ball, one strike. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Oh, 
this is hit to third. Will it be two? One there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more of game four on the show after this. Another nice evening here in L.A. as we welcome you back to Major League Baseball on the show. J.P. Howell will enter now to start the ninth inning as his job will be keeping the game tied until the bottom half. Miguel Montero will get another shot hit by a pitch his last time. Ah, got him right in the back. Doesn't feel good, never does, but I can think of a lot worse places to get dosed. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Here's the one and one delivery. Drilled to the left side. And that's going to get through into left. So there's your possible go ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Some guys, you almost do them a favor if you pitch away from them. Here, he's just doing what he does best. Great balance here. Good swing path, and he drives it the other way. Luis Avilon will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Luis Avilon. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Runner goes for second. Belted high in the air out to left. Crawford going back on it. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting. Third baseman. Chris Bryant. Chris Hatcher will take over in a tie ball game with one gone here in the top of inning number nine. Chris Hatcher. Chris Bryant stands in now with one down and a runner at first. That would be the go-ahead run if they can find a way to get him all the way around. Double play is in order, however. Yeah, he has definitely got to look for something up in the strike zone and drive the ball to the outfield. Now, there's nothing more deflating than a game-ending double play. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. He started in the zone and Hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. Ball three. Three and two now. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue.
Here comes the payoff pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Scooped up. There's one. Back to Gonzalez, but it's a bit too late, and they'll settle for just the one out. Yeah, you know, a double play there was always going to be a stretch. And that's where you just take that force out at second, get the lead runner, and then say, you know what? Thank you very much. Anthony Rizzo rides to the plate with two gone and the possible go-ahead run over at first base. Yeah, and the key here is don't try to do too much. At least move the line and get it to the next guy. That's it's not really easy to score a guy from first all in one swing. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. And after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. And you know as a hitter, you're seeing the ball so well. When you can take a pitch like that and square it up and just hammer it right back up the middle. Here's Jason Hayward now, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, the thing that's important no here is you that just move that go-ahead run here. 90 feet closer right. to scoring. A lot of times, that's the kind of mistake that can cost you a game, and this one very well might. Here's Javier Baez. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. As you're loaded here. Two down. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Inside and low, two and one. Deep breath time now on the mound. You've got to compose yourself. And that strike zone's looking about the size of a tin can. Hitter scout now. Here's the two and one. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Don't expect him to forget throwing inside, even after the hit by pitch. He just won't start giving in to guys out there. 3 1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3 and 2. <laughs> I think he saw stars in his eyes there. He was thinking grand slam on that one. Struck him out, and the potential go-ahead run is left stranded at third. Cubs wind up leaving him loaded. Still all square at four apiece. Corey Seager gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Nice now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Rondon's ready. Here's the pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. High and deep to right center field. Back goes Fowler. Still ranging back. Gone! Santa Maria. Game over. Solo shot to right center. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over.
boy, we're talking high drama here in the playoffs. A walk-off win here in the final at bat, and this place is going crazy right now. Well, guys, as you know, if you're going to pick a time to have a big ball game, you may as well make it happen in the playoffs. And this man right here obviously did. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. But this was, this was one they definitely needed. And he came up with a huge performance here. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Dodgers win it 5-4. to four. Good night from Los Angeles. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Cubs, four runs on ten hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.